Hey guys, James here today and welcome to Seasons Gameplay Part 1. Uh, this video was made possible by EA Game Changers. So we're starting off here in Creator Sim. I'm just doing a really quick time lapse because if you guys have been long time viewers of my channel, I don't really care for Creator Sim. It's just not my thing. So I just randomized the name, Karina Grutonk, and then just chose some new clothing for her. We obviously have the two new clothing categories, which is like warm clothes, cold clothes, obviously for either snow or extreme cold weather or heat waves. So just just to stay cool and, and I just chose a few outfits and also the new hairstyle so that's pretty cool that's actually my favorite new hairstyle I really do like that one so I thought that was quite nice but now we're actually gonna start getting into the game so when you first start a new game you actually select which season you want to start in which I think is pretty cool so you know you, if you want to start right in winter and see all the snow you can do that or if you want to start in summer you know I mean I guess it's kind of self-explanatory <laughs> now this house if you're wondering I actually did do a video of building this house uh, so if you want to watch that I'll link it down below or on screen and you go watch that building video but obviously I'm just making a few changes here because I quickly realized uh, if I want to fully experience the holidays especially because we started here in autumn we're gonna have the harvest fest which is all about having like a big meal and all that uh, we probably should have somewhat of a family so I thought you know what let me add a bedroom for a child and just sort of mix and mix it up here a little bit and add a few things around here but this is our calendar so this is where we can see upcoming holidays we have four by default and actually schedule events and now we can finally plan parties so any of the existing parties in the game we can add in or any new ones that obviously come along and this is where I wanted to actually start using it because I wanted to plan a birthday party but we're not going to do that just yet because i feel like i don't i don't want to age up my sim we're gonna we're gonna adopt a child and then move on to that but here you can see like i said you can see all the upcoming events what the goals are going to be for it when it is and it gives you a day-by-day -day sort of schedule of the next four weeks and you can see which week is obviously going to be which season down the bottom here by the clock we also now have like a weather kind of forecast and how long is left in the current season uh you know what today's forecast is you know if the weather's going to change all that kind of stuff so that is really really helpful so if you want to see what's coming up you can check that there but here we go we got a brand new child welcome to the family i didn't check what the name was ashley maybe i don't know i don't know what it was anyway so i decided to add in the beehive right here because i thought you know with seasons we should probably play around with that and the kiddie pool which for some reason it wasn't in other packs that had everything to do with kids you know like the uh uh, the pack that came with the ball pit, but I guess it's in this, which is really cool. It actually, it is actually a really cool item, and we will play with it a little bit more later on. We can also, there's actually also a brand new category here in activities and skills, all to do with like the garden. So we have all the related items for that. I also, as you saw, I just bought some seed packs directly from the catalog rather than having to order them. So that's a new little change. I think that's also coming to the base game in a patch. Uh, obviously, not the new seeds, but the ones that we already have. Uh, so I thought I'd start planting the garden here. We also have the scarecrow right in the middle of the garden. And we have four of the brand new sprinklers, which not only can you play in as an interaction, but they also actually do water the garden in the morning and the afternoon. And I've just jumped into Creator Sim again, a little bit more of a time lapse. I decided to get another adult sim uh, so that we can play around with some more interactions and do a few more things. Check out some of the like other new little clothing items here and there. Not all of that's new, obviously. I don't know what is. Again, it's Creator Sim. Not really <laughs> my thing, but I left it in there and just did a little bit of a time lapse so you can see what's going on there. Uh, so now we have a little family of three that we're going to be playing around with. And uh, actually some, so, some cool changes that came to gardening is you can now water all and I think harvest all. And also sell all when they all like or you can harvest them all. So you can instead of having to queue them up one by one, it makes mass gardening gardening so much easier. Uh, so the beehive, one cool one thing I never actually got to do, which because uh, my bees always hated me. So you can actually build up somewhat of a relationship with the bees by bonding with the bees and obviously uh, taking care of them. And if they do become friendly enough with you, you can actually put the bees in a jar, have them in your inventory. And actually set them on other sims as <laughs> somewhat of a mean or mischievous interaction. I haven't done it personally, but I know it's a thing. Uh, so that's kind of fun. My bees always hated me though, so uh, yeah. Oh, also, some people said <laughs> it was quite funny that the bees actually have more interactions than uh, the hamster from the pack that must not be named. So so if you're looking for small, uh, small pets or maybe possibly your first pet, Look no further than Seasons. Um, so the Scarecrow right here. So this is actually a really cool, interesting little character. You can see you can do interactions with it. You can actually talk with him and he does animate a little bit. And if you talk with him enough, you will actually unlock um, the the outfit. And you can actually then wear it in Creative Sim. And, uh, and you'll, you'll see in just a moment 
It doesn't take too long. We just do like, you know, just tell some harvest jokes, make small talk, and then it will sort of just pop up at the top right. And uh, it will say that we have indeed unlocked the Scarecrow outfit. We've got the outfit and a Scarecrow hat. So that's quite cool. Uh, so I decided that, you know what, I think we should probably use our new unlocked item. So I just, <laughs> just chucked it on my sim there and he now has the unlocked Scarecrow hat. Uh, so there it is. Also, I believe talking uh, to, I think because I was talking to the Scarecrow, you can actually level up your uh, gardening skill through that as well. Now the weather machine, initially you, you can uh, sort of use it to change weather, uh, but it doesn't necessarily always work. It will, if it doesn't work, it will just change it to a random other weather than one you specified. Uh, but the higher your handiness skill is, the more you can upgrade it, add add things to it, change what you can do. At the highest level, you can actually advance the entire season. So if you're in autumn, you could just advance it to winter or spring or summer or wherever you want to go. Change the weather way more reliably. Uh, so you're going to want to have a nice high handiness skill for that. And uh-oh, it's gone wrong. We've got a... <laughs> we, I think we wanted a thunderstorm, but we didn't get one. Instead, we've actually now got a heat wave. Because you can see down the bottom, not right now, in the middle there, there you go, it says it's warm. So it's actually really, really quite hot at the moment. So Sims are going to get hot outside if they're wearing warm clothes or if they're not in their summer or that they warm clothes outfits. But it's a perfect opportunity to check out the little kiddie pool. So you can see the toddler's enjoying it, playing around. The adult sim interacts with them. And you can see off that little palm tree, we actually have a little bit of mist of water coming over there, uh, which I thought was quite nice. And, oh no, we failed. We failed again. Something's gone wrong. It was supposed to be a heat wave, but now all of a sudden we've got snow uh, and it's actually damn cold. So we probably should just get out of the kiddie pool and, and head back inside because not probably not a great idea to be outside. But... I think it's kind of fun that uh, we do have that control over the weather if we so choose to use it. <laughs> I had to zoom in on that kid like slipping over on the pavement because it was quite funny. <laughs> there's some there's some really nice like animations when Sims just walk around the world. Uh, like, oh, there's, there's a couple where they just like slip over and it's great. I was hoping that she did fall over. As you can see, I was following her for a while, but it didn't work too much. The Grutonk household. So this is where I'm going to actually schedule the birthday, the birthday party, which is great because now we don't have to do it exactly when we want it. We can set it. We can set it for up to like four sim weeks in advance, I believe. So we can just put it way down the line. We can do it for tomorrow, or of course you can always just plan a party like normal, like we used to, and do it right away. But this is a nice way to sort of space everything out and have something going on all of the time if you want. And uh, when it does pop up, you'll get like a little pop-up saying, Hey, this event's about to start. Do you want to go to it? I think we do see that in a little bit. And my sim is failing to bond with the bees there. He is not doing too well uh, <laughs> with that. He's pretty cold outside right now. You can uh, actually die from the cold, uh, which I believe... I don't know. No, I think we'll see that in... My gameplay preview part two, the, the ice death, uh, <laughs> which is a bit of fun. Um, anyway, we've gone to rain now. So this is what rain looks like. I mean, you might have already seen it. I mean, you probably already have, but there you go. I thought we'd, uh, we kind of went through a bunch of the different weather options just then. We, don't, we haven't had any snow on the ground yet. And I don't believe we have any in this video, but that's going to be in the part two. I also wanted to have a look from the inside like we are right now to see what the rain sort of looks like falling on the glass roof and see what it looks like. It looks quite nice. And it sounds really nice too, like you... Oh, that, that, that sort of thunder that just comes through there. I think that sounds so nice. And as you can see, the toddler actually had a response to it. And they actually got a moodlet saying they're scared of thunderstorms. I don't know. I don't know if that happens to all toddlers. I'm going to assume if they have different traits that they might not be as scared. But this particular one, she was quite scared of it. Now, oh, Grand Meals are the brand new uh, sort of food option as well. So we can do full-size turkey dinners, tofu turkey dinners, all the other options that you saw in there. So those are going to be, uh, those are like for holidays or, you know, whenever you want them. But I decided to extend the little back section of the house here because I wanted to actually put some of the stuff inside so that I don't have to be outside in the cold and in the bad weather while I'm trying to do stuff here. Uh, so I just have like a little flower arranging table in there. I actually turned it into more of a conservatory than it was before because like I said in, in the little build video I did, it was kind of like a little bit of a conservatory, but not really. Also, it's kind of weird because it's got different flooring. Look, it's a mishmash of a house, but you're just going to deal with it. Also... Lightning does just strike on your lot, as you can see, and actually burnt, uh, it uh, scorched the earth right there, and actually left a little bit of a, uh, like a little gem or something, <clears throat> which we're gonna call up the geo cancel, geo cancel about, uh, to see what it is. But yeah, it, uh, <laughs> lightning just struck there. I assume that it can set, like, start fires. I don't know, but if it can, 
Um, well, maybe. I don't know. I think I think it used to be able to in other games, but uh, anyway. So this, I'm gonna plan out a brand new holiday soon. I th am I doing it now? Or am I doing it later? I don't know when to do it. But yeah, so you can create your own holidays. I believe I'm gonna assume you can remove the other holidays. I didn't actually do that. But we can create our own holidays from scratch, which I think is a really, really great feature. Uh, rather than just using the four existing ones and having them rigidly locked into place, we can create some fun ones and we can choose from all of these different traditions to mix and match and create something that would be a little bit of fun, a little bit silly. And you can see just by right now, sort of me scrolling through all of these, there's a ton of different options uh, in here. And I really hope that, uh, I don't know that they will, but I hope kind of like with the sort of get together clubs that they add a few more uh, ones down the line in upcoming packs as well just to sort of go along with new content that comes out but we're going to make a holiday called Festivus because as a lot of you pointed out in uh, my trailer reactions I completely missed the fact that Air Grievances is a reference to Seinfeld and Festivus so I thought you know what let's make it let's do Air Grievances grand, grand meal invite guests and I think I did exercise which I think was kind of the closest I could get to what the actual traditions for it are. Um, <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. I, I wish I was a... Um, I it, Actually, well, let me look up... What, what is that? I looked up the list of... Um, so Festivus uh, Celebration. I don't know. Like I just need the list of... Because um, I, look, I looked it up on Google when I was doing it. There was like, there was like a, oh god, these are like the smallest images. Um, oh yeah, the Festivus pole, a non-decorated aluminium pole on a stand instead of a, uh, instead of a real tree. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have any aluminium poles, but I do decorate a little bit later on, so we'll see that. <laughs> so it's a bit of fun. Yeah, so these sprinklers, you can see, actually just automatically turn on in the morning. I don't know what the, uh, the radius is of them, and I haven't had a chance to watch the, the live stream, the official live stream they did recently, they might have explained it there. But the, the footprint when you place the, the sprinklers, as you can see right here, is actually a 3x3. Three three. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume it, it sort of waters a 3x3 three three area. Uh, I didn't cover the entire garden, but uh, I, I got most of it. So they automatically turn on in the morning and the evening, I believe. And I'm really excited to use this to actually set up proper large gardens, because you should be able to sort of get it going pretty well. Um, I guess the only things Actually, well, they do have this, this sort of... Uh, that weed remover machine but that we saw in one of the trailers i haven't used that yet but that does exist don't know how to get that maybe when we level up so yeah as as you might have just seen there we actually had a pop-up saying that uh the birthday party was about to start and would we like to go along to the, the venue and that's what we did now we're not going to spend a lot of time here because this is just a birthday party there's nothing special or different about it with seasons just showing off the fact that you can schedule parties that will sort of come up and uh and work just like that which i think is really really cool so instead of you know, just doing them when it seems right, we can actually properly schedule. Oh, there we go. Our child has aged up. Uh, welcome to childhood. Because I just really didn't want a toddler, so I'm glad I did that. Anyway, you know, <laughs> try. Uh, so I think we add, what did we add? Like some insecticide or something in there. Which I, okay, now I, yeah, I suck at taking care of the bees. <laughs> they, they hated me every time I played this. When I, when I um, get the hands on the game again, I'm going to see if we can become friends with the bees and throw them at people because I want to do that. But yeah, like I said earlier on, the sprinklers can't be played in, obviously. Um, I don't know that I want to be playing in one of them in that kind of dress. Because I feel like that would get really soaked and be awful. Um... But yeah, look, I, I really love the look of... I, I wanted to start in autumn, because I didn't want to be straight into winter covered in snow. Because uh, it's especially autumn is one of the, obviously, more... Basically, I think autumn and winter are the two seasons that are going to look different from what we already have. Like, spring and summer kind of look like normal, I guess. Uh, normal Sims 4, so that's why I started in autumn. Next video, we're going to be looking at winter and doing some winter activities. But right here... Uh, we actually have the, you can tell, I think, the tone of the lighting is way warmer. It's got this really, really nice orangey glow to it all over the place. Obviously, as time goes on, you can see sort of leaves falling uh, from trees and just around the world, sort of covering the ground uh, here and there. And we're going to keep trying to talk to the Scarecrow. I'm not sure how this works, but he does come off his podium or his little tree every so often. He comes to life and walks around the lot. I'm not sure actually how that works. Um, all I did was I just kept talking to him. I don't even know if we need to keep talking to him or if he just does it randomly. But he will, he will come to life and uh, say hello from time to time. So hopefully uh, we see it later on. 
But anyway, at the moment, just talking to him, having a chat. I've got my other guy, Roland, apparently is his name. I didn't even know that was his name, but apparently it is. He's actually trying to upgrade the weather machine so we can do some stuff a little bit more reliably. Uh, so we have a the success chance for clear skies. Interaction has increased. So each upgrade, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, will increase the chances of certain things and some of them unlock new abilities with it as well. So like this one, dealing with snow and rain has increased the chances of it working. Uh, so the bees are currently enraged. <laughs> they are not going to like me hanging around there. Like when they're enraged and you're just near them, they will attack. Like you don't even have to open them. If you're kind of just nearby, they're not going to be too happy with you. But uh, you can sell honey col or collect honey. Um, I'm not really sure. I guess, can you use them in cooking? I don't know. I need, to, I need to play. The thing is, we got like five hours to play this game. And that's not nearly enough. Like at the end of the five hours, I was like, I need to play this way more. <laughs> to know what's going on and get stuck into it. Mind you, it probably would have been very helpful to have the live stream before we played it. To sort of learn more about the game. Um, <laughs> so we were kind of all just like, all of us were just going in blind, trying to figure out what to do and what was new and all that. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a new interaction as well to play in the rain. As you can see, we're clearly having fun. Whee! Having fun with that. Uh, <laughs> just running in circles there as well. Oh, yeah, look, look, there you go. Exactly like I said. <laughs> the kid just walked by the bees. They're mad as. Um, yeah, so you want to be careful with them. I don't know that they necessarily... Will actually really do anything that bad to your sim, um, other than give them like a negative moodlet. I don't, I, I don't know that they can kill you. I assume not. That would be pretty funny if one in a million they did. Uh, so here's a new flower arranging table as well. You actually just select uh, which kind of flowers you would like to arrange. I think, did we do some earlier or has we just started doing this? Um, and as you build up the skill, you can do more. They're worth a lot more. So you could actually just make yourself a career out of doing a flower arranging. And once they're done as well, which I think Hopefully we look at it in just a moment. You can change the vase that they're in. Uh, this doesn't change the value, it sort of just changes purely the look. But there's a whole bunch of them as you can see. And then you can uh, sell them or take a photo if you really want. Uh, I, I don't know if, you, if that's something you want to do. Uh, but now, because Festivus is uh, approaching, actually I think it is today, uh, we can open up, I put down the decoration box here, which is, this is how you decorate the houses. So in that little menu there, you saw that you could decorate the eaves of the house, fences, foundations, uh, and two others that I've completely forgotten. But you could decorate all the parts of the house separately or not at all, so you can choose exactly what you'd like to put up. So what is it? Fences, freezers, oh, freezers and spandrels, yeah. So depending on what your house setup is, you can decorate individual parts of it. And then once you go into one of these, there's a huge array of items, or a huge array of decorations, lights, banners, flags, uh, all that kind of stuff in various different colors. Um, to, and that will just sort of automatically put it up. So once you select it, uh, so we're decorating the eaves. I think I pick a really boring one. Oh yeah, he, he, by the way, this is my Festivus pole. <laughs> because the idea, there are some, um, there are some poles uh, in, in the game, but not, because I was playing base game and seasons. So I didn't have any of the, the ones that look more like an aluminium pole, unfortunately. <laughs> so I used this one as the closest thing I got. And then I was trying to find like a little, uh, I didn't, I couldn't find where they put the pots. I think they actually moved them because I, I don't know if they're still in build mode anymore, actually, because I was trying to look for them. But they're, they're clearly here in buy mode now on activities and skills. These little gardening pots, I, I, they might have moved them there. But anyway, uh, so <laughs> that's my aluminium pole for Festivus that they can uh, enjoy. <laughs> Non-decorated one. Um, that was just a little thing that I did. And then, yeah, this house isn't really set up for uh, decorations on the roofs or eaves, unfortunately. But I also thought, you know what, I should probably put the swings in, because that's one of the brand new items as well. Like I said, like I said way earlier on, uh, actually I don't know if I said it in this video, but in the, in the building video I mentioned that there's there's a bunch of new gameplay items, uh, which means there's like kind of almost a lack of regular items in terms of new like, new sets of it, like new living room sets, dining room sets, you know, you know, that kind of stuff. There are new items, don't get me wrong, of course, um, but there's a lot of new gameplay items, which means... There's a lot of cool new things to do within the game. Not necessarily a lot of cool new things to build. Having said that though, we obviously get glass roofs, but that comes in the update anyway, not necessarily seasons. So there are a lot of fun new things in build mode too, but um, I think the more exciting thing about seasons is gameplay for sure. 
Uh, and the, the swings is just one of those items that's brand new. So with the holidays, as you can see, the top left, it sort of pops up there. You can actually just hide it, uh, just get rid of it if you don't want it there anymore. If you don't want to partake, you don't have to. Uh, and you can also edit it straight from there. But it also shows you what the traditions are. And if you complete a majority of the traditions, you sort of complete the holiday, which I believe gives you lifetime reward points. Um, so each of the things will sort of pop up here and there. Uh, like with uh, the interactions like air grievances when I click on a sim It'll sort of highlight, you know, like how it normally does contextually shows you which items are related to the sort of tasks at hand So if I click on uh, the sim here, you can see like the little icon there sing about festivus That's obviously going to be part of the holiday and then I believe if we go into mean or mischievous or something like that uh, There are some actions that we have to do in there. We have to air our grievances for festivus. That's just what we have to do and the other particular task for this one are the grand meal, inviting guests around, and a bit of exercise. So I sent off my sim jogging to go do some stuff over there as well. And a little bit earlier on, by the way, um, which uh, that's the problem with doing post commentary and the stuff. I kind of missed some things. But we did if we when we rummaged for decorations for uh, autumn. It, like you saw a couple of pumpkins pop out so you can get through that decorations box You can actually just rummage through there and find things for the particular season So you can easily decorate that way if you don't you know know specifically what to look for in the catalog So it's almost a way to just find some new items for you uh, right there But yeah, so this uh, We've got what are we doing now? We've just done Well, we've apparently invited guests around at some point. I don't know when that happened but <laughs> We're having a ch are we gonna do some airing of grievances now because we got we got yeah there we, I think I might be doing it now because I'm like ooh let me hover over that I, d I don't know the, what did, what is happening right now nothing <laughs> are we no we're not gonna do it anyway um oh no should really get going I don't even know who that is go jogging there you go get your get your exercise done get that in uh as you can see so some that sim there actually Umbrellas is probably a good point. I believe with umbrellas you actually have to. Uh, I think it was like Sims Three as well, didn't you? Didn't you have to like choose which umbrella and backpack you had? Not that I'm saying there's backpacks in this. I don't think there is, but with umbrellas, I believe there's actually an item in the catalog that you have to buy, and then you sort of set which umbrella you want to have. Which I didn't know at this point. Um, so none of my Sims had umbrellas or anything like that. Uh, but I've sent my Sim out jogging here, and once they complete a little interaction, you can see they get like a little little confetti sort of thing, and then it'll get marked off on the little holiday. The, like checklist um so that's how that works and you know that you've done them uh so i think we're now i think we're finally airing some grievances and you can see when they're in progress as well as sort of like sort of flash back and forth with a little check mark so you know you've done a little bit of it or you're working towards something but well 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 look who's shown up what is his name patches or patchy i think it's patchy uh so this <laughs> this guy's a bit of fun he's just walked off of his little uh little log outside a little tree and he just comes around says hi Again, I'm not actually sure how that works. If you know down below in the comments, let me know if, he j if that's just random or if we actually have to be his friend. But one interesting thing, so like I said earlier, we actually did unlock his outfit. And you can see he has a much like smaller and thinner body than a regular sim. But the weird thing is when you put it on a sim, <laughs> their body just shrinks down to fit that outfit exactly. So it looks really weird in creator sim. But, you know, since he's here to visit, I just want to have a bit of fun. I want to go on the swing, and I thought I thought I'd ask good old Patchy or whatever the hell his name is to to help me out. <laughs> he's a bit of he's a, he's, a, he's a bit of a classic uh, Sims NPC, you know. I think it's fun to see these kind of characters come back. Uh, oh, and oh, I, we didn't get to see. Well, I haven't actually seen the. Um, I don't know what her name is, but the bunny rabbit. Uh, but I think I believe we see Father Winter in the next gameplay video. So stay tuned for that one. Oh no, here he goes. This this is him going back to his little log. There he is. <laughs> and he's back having a little snooze out in the back garden. Um, so we also do have the rake leaves interaction. If you're sick of there being leaves all over your, your garden, you can sort of rake them into little piles like this, and then you can actually uh, just throw out the piles in regular trash, or you can leave them sort of hanging around there if you just like piles of leaves in your garden for whatever reason. You can also have a little bit of a new woohoo location, which is in leaves. Now, I haven't personally been in leaves before i don't know how what like how nice it would be um and i feel like they wouldn't stay together quite like that uh but anyway the new location for woo if that's what you're into i don't know if uh, are there any other ones i i don't know let me know um yeah they're going out of there look at look at them leaves go the leaves look like uh you know what it looks like it looks like a jello shot 
when they're inside of it like that. <laughs> you know, actually, I wonder what the Sims look like on the inside. If they actually just disappear or if they're like rolled up into prawns. <laughs> <laughs> like they do in like the hot tub and what, what are, was that in sims 3 or like sims 2 or something that if you look real close anyway for the the last little bit of this video here we're actually going to be checking out the roller rink which is obviously going to be the same thing as the ice skating rink in the winter time but i've just added this into the willow creek park and it has a bunch of custom sort of uh, customizable effects so we can do a bunch of like sort of particle effects here and the lighting effects we can change as well and then you can sort of go along and skate around and i believe i don't know is i think is it a new skill i think it must be surely because they start off really crap i don't know if it's just the does it tell me if does it pop up or anything actually you know what maybe it's not a new skill because she doesn't have a skill bar maybe it might be like a kind of a hidden skill like bowling no bowling's not a hidden skill like no i was thinking of bowling in sims 3 I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't actually know. But yeah, so we can go around like this and you can set up uh, whatever kind of music you want to as well. Like that, there you go, we've got a little bit of music. And now I've actually had set it to have like snow falling in it. So you can have like a little really nice winter theme. So you can, you can make a really nice little setup here. Especially if you get a bunch of other Sims using it. I think it's super nice. But this pretty much is what we've got for part one of gameplay. And I do recommend staying tuned for part two, which will be out, I'm going to say, tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say tomorrow. Uh, but if you want to see some more sort of season stuff, do check out the build that I did, which was of the little house that we started in. And you can check that out tomorrow. We'll be continuing a little bit with this family, but then we'll be swapping over to a pre-made family that we had for demonstration purposes because they have every, uh, like, like not every, but all the new important items. They have, like, all the sort of skills and max so we can check out the weather machine in full and change the seasons and do all this kind of crazy stuff there as well um and this is me just playing around you can play around the lighting on this thing as well so you can do a lot of stuff with this this roller ring so if this is your thing that's what you wanted to see go for it but thanks for watching guys uh make sure to leave a comment down below and i'll see you next time and have an awesome day